Hello, good morning and welcome. It's Wednesday, it's the 1st of February, beginning of the, of the month, and um, we did very well for January. Um, I didn't quite do uh, 10%, but I, I did about 8% profit for, uh, for that, and uh, uh, had 100% wins. Now, I have got a little bit of uh, a running loss, which would take me back down to about 6% profit. But all in all, uh, for the first month, it was a, it was a good month. So um, we'll see what we can do this month. Um, Outcad, right? Uh, the uh, Australian dollar, uh, the CFTCs or Commitment of Traders, was short. Um, the first time there was a movement short in about four weeks. We're two to one short on the um, Commitment of Traders report. So um, we're looking to sell, but at the moment there's no extremes on that. So basically, uh, I can't pick out a low risk, high reward trade, so I'm out. Out USD. This is, we believe, well, I believe, this is in a position now where it ought to sell. <clears throat> I've put the RSI onto a 26 uh, position setting. And uh, I've put in like a, a median line here. And I'm waiting because uh, we've gone into a bit of sideways movement. I'm waiting for this to break below the, uh, the red line here. And then I'll call the short on that. Brent, Brent crude. Did quite nicely out of this yesterday. Uh, I got in more or less at the top. Uh, it came down, um, I got a bit twitchy, I put the, the stop a bit too close and I got knocked out. But I, I did take quite a nice trade on that yesterday. And um, if it pops back up again, then uh, I will be re-entering. Uh, the Commitment of Traders uh, report was um, short for, uh, for oil. And uh, there's also negative divergence on the daily charts with the RSI, which is always um, a sort of a, a good thing to look for. Uh, gives you a hint that it's going to go short. Next, EuroCAD. I'm a little. I can't see a good risk a risk reward on this. So uh, until it moves to a better position, I'm, I'm out of it. Euro JPY, this is fabulous. The Euro is overbought, in my humble opinion, and uh, the Yen is oversold. Now, that's a good combination, and uh, we've just had um, a black candle today. I will, and I'm above, this is the white line where I got knocked out. So I'm looking to go short of that, uh, maybe later on today, but um, I, I like that. I do like it a lot. Euro G. Yeah, again, uh, I can't see a good risk reward on this. Um, unless I've got an extreme, I wouldn't advise anybody to enter it. Euro USD, again, uh, the euro's overbought and the dollar's oversold, so um, I am short this. I got in yesterday <laughs> and I, I thought that would be the top, uh, and then we had a little speech from Donald Trump. And it went up a little bit more. Uh, as you can see, the uh, <coughs> it's observing this white line I've put in here, which sort of picks out the tops or the, the turning points uh, if you go back uh, into the history. So we're just at that now, and uh, it is actually coming back down. So uh, hopefully we'll see something good happen on that today. We've got uh, the um, some sort of payroll thing uh, this afternoon so I'm hoping that's going to be positive and uh, we can get our stop in just behind um, our position <coughs> take profit GB USD well it's come back up and um, I'm surprised that it's come back up I thought it was going to go down uh, the um, commitments of traders report was actually long the pound so um, We'll see what happens here. I, it's not actually at an extreme, 
and uh, unless it's at a good extreme or I can see a good reason to get into this pair short, I'm not going to do it. So we'll wait with that one. And USD JPY. Uh, I really like this pair. I did really well with it yesterday. Um, and uh, now I'm waiting to get back in short. Uh, I think it's already at, uh, where is it? 13. 1345 uh, sorry 11345 um, I think it's going to go a bit higher um, I'm not rushing but um, I think today and or Friday uh, we could see that going up a bit higher I put my blue line my turquoise line in here at 11450 it could even do better, it couldn't even do 115, but we'll wait and we'll put a better position in that later on. USD CAD, I'm already in it, uh, it went down further yesterday than I expected, it's popped back up a little bit. Uh, I, I've got my targets up here and um, you know I, I think there's good risk reward on that, so we'll, we'll just hang on to that for the next few days, see what happens. So um, anyway, that's all for today, and thank you very much for watching. Um, as you know, we use uh, Andrew at uh, uh, Learn uh, Forex Trading Online for our um, fundamental analysis. And, uh, you know, I, I urge you to pop and have a look at his site. There's a lot of free stuff on there. Uh, it's pretty good. So uh, get along and take a look. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow.